Um, we gotta take this stuff seriously, as seriously as you are, because you have been forced to have to take it seriously. The whole nation should understand and have a level of empathy to understand that this can happen anywhere, in any peace-loving community, and we should stand together and speak out about why it's gotta stop. Madam Vice President. So let me get this straight. Okay, we've got to take this stuff seriously, as seriously as you are, because you've been forced to take this seriously. The whole nation should understand and have a level of empathy to understand that this could happen anywhere in any people and in any community. And we should stand together and speak out about why it's got to stop. And frankly, went downhill from there. We're going to look at the reaction to Kamala Harris's latest twisted word salad. We're going to see how Democrats are absolutely panicking over her leading the ticket in 2024. And make sure to stick with me at the very end of this video. And I'll show you how a number of Democrats have had enough. And they're defecting from the party and joining up with patriots in the GOP. You are not going to want to miss this. Greetings, patriots all across the world. Dr. Steve here with you. Great to be with you as always. I am your patron professor here to help you think better so you can feel better in these crazy and turbulent times. So if you haven't already done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. And gang, you know what else I want you to do, don't you? I want you to stick it to cancel culture by clicking on that link below and supporting our dear friend, Mike Lindell and My Pillows. You know, Walmart stores have now canceled Mike's products from their shelves and so our support for this amazing patriot is now more important than ever and mike is showing the love back with his lowest prices ever if you use my code turley so now you can get the classic my pillow which is normally 69.98 for only 19.98 with my code turley and that applies to over 200 products in their catalog so don't wait click on that link below get one for yourself get one for the patriots in your life they're gonna absolutely love you for this let's support our fellow patriot mike lindell and let's get the best sleep of our lives all right let's dive right in here just one day after seven people were senselessly killed Another 30 injured by yet another drugged up gunman uh, this time in northern Chicago. Kamala Harris, the embarrassment par excellence of the Democratic Party, visited the community to meet with law enforcement. And this is what vice presidents do. Their duties are largely ceremonial. Cackles Kamala showed up to a place of tragedy. And as the mainstream legacy media put it, she echoed standard Democrat talking points like, we all need to stand together. And of, co of course, what shooting tragedy would be complete without the requisite call for more gun control? Just more meaningless Democrat banter that's been spewed out over the last three decades by the DNC. However, as it turns out, things didn't go quite so well for the vice president. As you heard, she ended up making an absolute idiot of herself when she began jumbling together all the Democrat cliches into nothing short of a verbal mess. And my, did social media take notice. Again, you didn't get this from the New York Times or CNN or Politico. No, 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 no. For them, this was a somber occasion. Ceremonially sanctified by the office of the vice president as she exhorted us, all of us, to stand together and to stand up for banning the evils of assault weapons. Oh, just the horror of that term, assault weapons. What civilized nation could ever possibly even conceive that such emblems of mass carnage could be allowed on our streets? That's the world of Taz, the New York Times and CNN. Fortunately for social media, what we got to see uh, was what really happened. Yet again, Cackles Kamala demonstrated for all to see that she is the single most unqualified human being to be anywhere near the Oval Office. To say that she is the queen of the word salad would be an understatement, and social media absolutely roasted her for it. Here's some of the reactions that she got from social media. National Review contributor Pradheep J. Shankar tweeted out, she's amazingly bad at this. <laughs> Sports editor Whitney McIntosh wrote, every new quote of hers makes less and less sense as a complete sentence. 
writer Ashley Reese tweeted out, Okay, she did not always sound this incoherent would put on the spot, right? Am I misremembering? I mean, this is getting weird. <laughs> Screenwriter Josh Olson wrote, Okay, I give up. There are some jobs where you shouldn't be allowed to drink on the clock. <laughs> John Ashbrook of the Ruthless Podcast mocked the visuals in the clip, tweeting, Wearing the stoplight like a dunce cat. Mediate writer Jackson Richmond responded incredulously, seriously, at VP doesn't know how to speak. And she doesn't. And that's, of course, because we all know she, she was picked not because of her merits. She was picked for this position solely on the basis of identity politics. Now, of course, this is not the first time Harris has made, shall we say, bizarre statements. One of my favorites is from a White House event with the Jamaican prime minister. She was visiting there and Cackles Kamala said this. <laughs> we also recognize, just as it has been in the United States for Jamaica, one of the issues that has been presented as an issue that is economic in the way of its impact has been the pandemic. So to that end, we are announcing today also that we will assist Jamaica in COVID recovery um, by assisting in terms of the recovery efforts in Jamaica that have been essential to, I believe, what is necessary to strengthen not only uh, the, the, the issue of public health, but also the economy. <laughs> so, as you can see, she has this habit of spewing out annoying redundancies. One of the issues... That's been an issue. We will assist Jamaica by assisting them. And we're going to help their recovery by helping them recover. I mean, this, <laughs> this brings circular reasoning to a whole new level, just like this. Especially true when it comes to the climate crisis, which is why we will work together and continue to work together to address these issues, to tackle these challenges, and to work together as we continue to work operating from the new norms, rules, and agreements that we will convene to work together on to galvanize global action. With that, I thank you all. This is a matter of urgent priority for all of us, and I know we will work on this together. Uh, gang, I'm sorry. I am so sorry to have put you through that. I am, but I put you through that so that through that, we can, together, be put through that, together. So, <laughs> obviously, she leaves her audiences with an unmistakable sense that she has absolutely no idea what she's saying. You know, Robert Barnes, the, uh, the lawyer who apparently has gone up against Harris on several occasions in several cases in California. He said that it was basically a truism among attorneys in California that if you were going up against Kamala Harris, it was going to be the easiest case imaginable because she was just so bad. She She's so obviously not very bright. Now, all kidding aside there, the problem here, of course, is that Democrats are increasingly realizing that Harris is a political disaster. OK, as we talked about in yesterday's video, which I'll link down below for you, all the polls show that Biden, bike ride in Biden, is politically imploding, right? His poll numbers are in a free fall, just like his bike riding skills. All the polls show that. But to make matters even worse, no matter how low Joe goes, no matter how bad his polling, cackles always polls worse. Biden may be in the 30s, but according to a relatively recent USA Today poll, Cackle's approval rating is an utterly dismal 28%. Even the New York Times is admitting she's the single most unpopular vice president in recent memory. Six out of ten voters find Harris abhorrent. They can't stand her. She's an albatross for the Democrats, who again, like we talked about in yesterday's video, they're finding themselves, frankly, in the worst possible situation where their sitting president is basically in a political graveyard. He's totally unelectable at this point. He's lost independence and so on. But to make matters worse, his natural replacement, his VP, is even more unpopular than he is. And as if things couldn't possibly get worse, now, now we've got the latest Democrat defection splashing across, particularly conservative headlines. Another Democrat politician has officially 
crossed aisles and joined up with the Republicans. Absolutely amazing. Wait to hear why. But first, do not forget it is Christmas in July at our Turley Talks merch store. We've been winning so much of late that we wanted to celebrate those wins with a special 4th of July sale all throughout the month of July. So make sure to click on that link below and pick out two shirts to buy and you're going to get a third absolutely free. I, I got my George Orwell, did I call it or what shirt? I absolutely love it. So grab a couple of shirts for yourself. Get one for the Patriot Your Life. Click on that link below or go to store.turleytalks.com. All right, so everyone, please, please welcome, put your hands together and welcome our newest member, the growing patriot wing of the Republican Party, Mr. John Lee. He's the mayor of North Las Vegas, and he is officially running now for re-election as a Republican. And the reason he left the Democrats is because he can no longer stand with an elitist and socialist party like the Democrats. That's exactly what he said. For Lee, the Democrats are fundamentally anti-American, which they are. Scholars call it post-American, right? Secular liberal Democrats believe we need to socially evolve beyond uh, national reverence and fidelity towards the United States. So this is why they're constantly bashing our nation and its history, right? But he's the latest in a series of very high-profile defections. Victor Jimenez, who's a former spokesman for the Democrat D.C. mayor, he officially left the Democratic Party and switched to the GOP and decided things like open borders, record inflation, mass unemployment, skyrocketing crime, defunding the police— uh, as the primary reasons why he switched parties. We've also seen the Texas state representative, Ryan Gillen, who, by the way, won his seat with nearly 17, by nearly 17 points in 2020. He, was offic- he has officially switched parties from Democrat to Republican. And again, he cited the Democrats' chaos at the border, and they're doubling down on defunding the police as his reasons for making the switch. So the Democrats really are falling apart. You know, I mean, of course, anything can happen between now and the midterms. But if what's happening now is an indicator of what we can expect for November, then we will take this stuff seriously, as seriously as you are taking this seriously, so that we can understand what others are understanding and understand like others. <laughs> now, before you go, make sure to check out my latest video I just uploaded on how it's all over for bike ride in Biden as 71% of voters want him gone. He's unelectable. You'll love it. So make sure to check it out by clicking on that link below and I'll see you over there. God bless.